dear participants, distinguished guests, and esteemed members of the press, welcome to Trabzon. I would like to thank the organizing committee for selecting this unique city as conference location. During your stay, I'm sure you will discover that in Trabzon, history, culture, and nature are blended together into one single city. Some of you had the chance to join the field trip yesterday, must have experienced that already. Moreover, I'm happy to be here because Trabzon has a special place in my heart, considering the fact that the, the Fatih drill ship, which made the Sakarya discovery in 2020, received her maintenance and inspection here in Trabzon before sailing to Tunawan spot location. I'm really glad to see the among the participants here at the conference, we have geoscientists from different countries with broad experience on the Black Sea. I consider this as a great opportunity to all the attendees. During this two days conference, we will have the chance to share our knowledge, experience, and the views which will enlighten our way in pursuit of exploring and discovering hydrocarbons in waste Black Sea Basin. Having the lar largest licensed area, Turkish Petroleum Corporation has always been a major actor in Black Sea Ultra Deep offshore exploration activities. However, at the beginning of 2019, the name of the game changer moves were being able to reach out operational independence capability and technology via our fantastic drill ship machines. From that point on, using the latest seismic acquisition techniques and enhanced seismic imaging in multiple blocks with accelerated seismic processing workflows, it was possible to speed up the conventional exploration approach to the basin. Moreover, the extensive use of the state-of-the-art seismic imaging solutions, such as full wave inversion and least square migration techniques, we have achieved reliable data over a short period of time, which consequently lowered the risk lower the time and the risk of uh, the prospect generation. While the subsurface team worked on available seismic and geological models, as part of the company's strategy, we have focused on gaining operational capabilities in deep water environment, which enables TPAO to bring super supply chain efficiencies to offshore drilling. Our new approach to offshore exploration has been supported with an extensive seismic acquisition which covers as wide as area as uh, 45,000 square kilometer, in addition to existing 2D and 3D seismic data across the entire Black Sea. We now have almost 50 mature enough prospects to drill, all thanks to TPIO's subsurface team and their extraordinary efforts. The first exploration well, Tuna 1, started in summer of 2020 by our own drill ship party. The Sakarya discovery was announced in August 2020 and later turned out to be the biggest deep offshore discovery of the year. Meanwhile, we started the multi-phase development program, which will make it possible to bring the, the gas to domestic market at earliest with minimum risk. The first quarter of 2023 was and still is our target. Having such an aggressive goal has required mobilizing two other drill ships, Kanuni and Yavuz, to Sakarya Basin, which also indicates the size of the operation carried out in the area. We have recently passed the 24 more month mark since the announcement of the first discovery. In this period, a brief period of time, we have managed to reveal two fields with multiple hydrocarbon bearing reservoirs. At Sakarya gas field, 11 development wells have been drilled, two of which Kanuni drill ship has successfully tested and five potential production intervals. After that, Kanuni has completed six other wells with case hole gravel pack. Yavuz drill ship has been mobilized to three of those wells to install the first wet Christmas trees and to run offshore intelligent completions at multiple zones with electrohydraulic valves for the first time in the world. Our phase one completion activities are still ongoing, along with exploration activities. As part of our agenda, 
we will drill a new exploration well before the year ends. For the first phase of two, uh, the, the full field uh, development Sakarya gas field, TPIO has signed EPCI contract with a consortium of best-in-class service companies just within 12, 12 months following the discovery. Sakarya genuinely will be the longest and deepest subsea tieback production system in the world when both length and depth criteria are taken simultaneously into account. Currently, the production pipes are being laid. In parallel, umbilicals are being spooled and transferred to the construction vessel vessels as we speak. The pace of construction of the onshore receiving facility at Filios, located 800 km west of Trabzon along Black Sea coast, is on parallel with the offshore works. Here, groundbreaking work, steel erection, and the buildings completely are completed all, uh, in process. Installation of procured equipment, piping and electrical wiring works are ongoing and all will soon be ready for commissioning. So, the question is, how is such progress possible over such a period of time? While TPIO is busy transforming the Black Sea Basin into a super basin, the transformation has happened internally within the conventional structure of TPIO as well. Turkey's national oil company, TPIO, is transforming into a lean, technology-driven and professionally managed enterprise, drilling 14 deep water exploration wells. In addition to 11 development wells, totally goes up to 25 wells within three years. With uh, the four company owned, operated drill ships are working for us within a period of three years, the proof of job well done in both Black Sea and EastNet program. Harmonizing the homegrown TPAO talent with the Turkish expatriate in the industry, attracting topically specialized international experts and contracting state-of-the-art technology from major service providers, TPAO has brought its managerial and operational standards up to global levels and even higher. Sakarya Discovery was the first offspring of this successful transformation and the further subsea development will be the first milestone. Hence, the Sakarya gas field development project has equipped Turkish Petroleum Corporation with a new dynamism. At TPIO, we're not only rapidly developing our know-how in the various fields of ultra-deep offshore exploration, drilling and construction, but also expanding the skill set of our well experienced staff, as well as contributing to reverse brain drain through our world class projects. Turkish engineers who have attended assumed roles in numerous offshore projects across the globe are now back home with a mission to materialize the prestige project of their own country. Apart from functioning as a critical factor that facilitates the high pace and dynamism of Sakarya project, the interaction and the mutual learning process between repatriated engineers and our resident staff contribute significantly to corporate saver fare to be mobilized in our future projects as well. I would like to point out another development that is close to our hearts in order to train the human resources we require in our Black Sea operations. Two new departments will soon be launched at Chaijuma Vocational School of Zonguldak Bülentecevit University. Therefore, we not only work relentlessly for energy independence of our nation, but also strive to contribute to academic ventures of our young population who will eventually inherit this country. We will officially open the two departments, hopefully, by the end of the month. We will bring Sakarya gas, this great belt of Black Sea Basin, to Turkish territory in the first quarter of 2023. Our search for new reserves will obviously continue. In fact, we expect to expand the scope of the project and prolong its life cycle. The Black Sea will host our hydrocarbon exploration and production activities for decades to come. At TPIO, we work around the clock 
to get to know the Black Sea on a deeper level, discover the opportunities it offers, and to make our very own contribution to the efforts to instrumentalize our offshore riches to, to the economic and technological development of Turkey. Hopefully, the gas discoveries will play a role not only in strengthening the, the basis for regional energy cooperation, but also for the overall economic and political stability of the region. I would like to conclude my speech with the words of our president, Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who often says, not everyone who seeks can find, but those who find are the ones who seek. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank our president, Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, for his continuous support since the beginning. Our Minister of Energy, Mr. Fatih Dönmez, our former Minister of Energy, Mr. Berat Albayrak, and all my teammates who worked days and nights in this project for their unwavering support. We appreciate emerging of Black Sea Basin as a super basin for the oil and gas industry. And we appreciate your contribution to this event as well. Our passion for the welfare of our nation and our faith in bright future for our country boost our determination, our enthusiasm, and our efforts. As we have done so far, we will go on our path with the same determination and the confidence and in the mission that awaits us. I wish you a very successful two days conference and hope that the discussions here will shed light on our efforts to realize the full potential of the Black Sea. I would like to thank the AAPG Europe and the organizing committee for this opportunity and once again welcome you all to this important endeavor. Thank you.